Okay, y'all. I'm hype. I'm sorry. Let me calm myself down. I'm just a little chipper. Y'all, Insecure is back on TV. Ah! Insecure is back. Ah! Which means we got to chat, okay? Um, okay, so I was trying to give y'all a week to watch because everybody ain't got HBO. So sometimes you got to watch it on your fire stick. You know, sometimes you got to bootleg. You know what I'm saying? However you watch it. Anyway, so I am an Insecure fan okay i've been watching insecure since day one i love Issa ray um Issa ray came to my university and, and you know chatted with us last year so it was great okay anyways i love Issa ray and i love this show um now first things first this is not for children insecure is not for kids if your kid watch insecure you a bad parent i'm just playing okay your kids shouldn't be watching the show but anyways okay so every week y'all we gonna be up in this corner we gonna talk about insecure okay we're gonna call it the insecure recap girl chat let's go okay so first things first um so season two ended with her and Lawrence like completely being finished um their apartment is like the the season the chapter is over like the Lawrence and Issa chapter is over and I'm frankly okay with that because Lawrence was trash like be real okay she could have did better I'm just saying um and so it's officially over and they're moving out of their apartments and so we end with her being at um Odoo's door the dude she cheated on Lawrence with Daniel David something with a d anyways um so she cheated on him and so season three picks up with a very <laughs> a, a very steamy opening scene okay I don't think you should watch this show with your parents I'm gonna be clear okay it's a lot of sex up in there and it's just not appropriate for you and your parents you and your children ah -ah! okay anyway so um David is you know having relations with some girl she's on the couch girl now this is my first problem okay why is she on a couch of this man's house like molly where is you at like is your friend a real friend if you can't stay with her in your time of need like molly molly good golly come on and so she's on his couch and like let's be clear okay he wanted to be with Issa, okay but Issa didn't want to be with him at the moment she chose someone else so now she needs him because um she needs somewhere to stay okay so he's very inconsiderate he's like has relations with someone else while she's sleeping on this girl's couch she's sleeping on your couch anyway so um Issa now drives for Lyft okay because remember she got demoted at her job because she just she just didn't do the right stuff so now she's demoted in season three she's not out in the field no more she like is a phone operator she's she's answering phones okay and the girl that she used to work with ain't trying to vouch for her so she just stuck okay and so she's driving for Lyft all right, Molly comes back from vacation. Remember, Molly had relations with Drew. Drew is married to somebody else, and now she caught feelings, so she don't know what to do. Molly is trash, okay? I love uh, her in real life, but in this show, Molly's trash because, like, Molly is so great. Like, Molly could be anybody she wants to be, and she has, she's beautiful, she's smart, she's got the great career, and she can't pick a man to save her life. Like, girl, what is you doing? What am I saying? Sometimes that's me. Anyways, but still. So Molly's still messing with Dro, and uh, she doesn't like the fact that Dro is married and has an open marriage, and she's caught feelings. So she's like, Dro, uh-uh, I want my key back. Dro, uh-uh, I need you to leave. Dro, uh-uh, we can't do this. So now Molly's back at square one. Issa's homeless. They should be together, but they not. Anyways, so uh, in the episode of season one, Issa's driving Uber. They have an Uber party, a Lyft party, where she meets this cute, cute guy who I hope that she's going to be with in the season because he's fine, okay? And so he leaves her a $200 tip because he ends up leaving her her Lyft because they was fighting in the Lyft. I'm sorry. If you haven't seen the show, like I said, I'm going to try to give y'all a week in between so we can, you know what I'm saying? In between so y'all can watch. Anyways, so um, basically um, she has a new prospect okay and i'm here for the new prospect because he is very very cute and he doesn't seem like he's it, you know he just doesn't seem like he's with the crap like he seems like he's gonna be a good guy for Issa. i like him already um you know the the season season stuck premiere was interesting let's just put it like that they set the groundwork i'm not trying to tell y'all everything because i told y'all mostly whatever um but here's my predictions y'all ready okay here's what i think is gonna happen season three um daniel david whatever his name is 
um, really gonna start feeling Issa, but he can't he can't get sucked back into who she was because she hurt his little feelings. I don't know what it is, but when men get hurt, they never want to love again. So then these girls gotta come around and pick up these damaged men. It's like a thing. They don't never want to love again. So he not gonna choose Issa this time, okay? But him and Issa still have history because at the end of season one's as uh, season three's episode. Um, she talks about it. She's like, how can you act like we didn't have chemistry? You know, I have a thing for you and I picked you because I knew you were going to be here for me. And he was like, he felt that, you know what I'm saying? He felt what she was saying. Um, so here's my predictions. You know, I think her and they're going to play this game. Her and Dave are going to play this game. Daniel, whatever his name is. They're going to play some games. Okay. But he not going to go for her because he going to do the same thing she did to him. So she, she not going to go for it. All right. The guy in the back of her lift, that's going to be her new boot. Y'all watch what I'm telling you. That's going to be her boot, but it's going to be complicated. It's going to be messy because she's not over David. She's staying with David and Daniel, whatever. Molly, 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 good golly, Molly, Molly, Molly. Molly and Dro are going to get more complicated because she really likes Dro, but Dro's not leaving his wife for Molly. That's not happening. Molly, it's a no. Um, so I think Molly's going to find somebody else, but at the same time still have feelings for Dro. Will Issa get her job back? We'll never know. We have to keep watching for the next few episodes. I think there's going to be some plot twists in there. From the first episode, I can see that it's going to be really juicy. Um, it's kind of predictable. Like we, I feel like she's going to stay on his couch for a while. But if she stay on his couch the whole season, I'm going to be mad because Molly a bad friend. Anyways, episode two comes on tonight. Or well, if you watch this, to, it come on tomorrow if I post this anyways it's coming on so y'all be ready so we can chat y'all let me know what y'all think what your predictions are for this season if you're going to be watching with me when we do these insecure chat moments okay i'm happy lawrence is gone no shade but lawrence was not a good guy he was the bum okay he had no car no job Issa was taking care of him like bye bye lawrence we won't be missing you anyways all right y'all ready for the insecure let's get chat up let's talk let's talk let's get caught up here we go insecure is back